Uh, I want to bring in Miami Mayor Francis Suarez, a Republican. Both his father and mother came to the United States from Cuba as children. Mayor Suarez, good to have you back. Uh, thank you so much for your time this morning. It, in an interview on another network on Tuesday, you said that the United States military uh, should consider airstrikes against Cuba. Why? No, what I said in another station was that there were uh, instances where different administrations had, uh, you know, considered military options in different theaters across the world. One of which was an example that I used was an airstrike in Kosovo under the Clinton administration. Uh, there was the other example that I used was when, uh, you know, President Obama took out Osama bin Laden in Pakistan. And the other example that I used was President Bush, uh, you know, in, in, in Panama that deposed Noriega and, and, and brought back democracy. I think the people in Miami are extremely frustrated uh, and they want to make sure that the Biden administration is looking at all options. I think the other thing is, as you see the images that you're showing on, t on television right now, um, there there seems to be a sentiment that, there's a helplessness here in terms of what we can do to help our Cuban brothers and sisters uh, in Cuba. And, and you know, the United States has, has been involved in a variety of things throughout the world. And it's hard to see something happening just 90 miles away without any sort of a real, uh, you know, U.S. intervention at this point. Mayor, to your point, though, about uh, a military option being on the table, being one of uh, the potential tools in the toolbox of this administration, what what would be a potential target of an airstrike or targets? Well, again, to be clear, you know, I'm not advocating for a particular strategy. I'm not a military expert. I'm not a member of the U.S. military, and I don't have the intelligence that our military or the capability understandings of what our military has. Our military would make those kinds of decisions, and I'm sure, uh, whether <laughs> whether it's public or not, that probably those discussions are being had right now. Um, but nevertheless, I think publicly uh, there should be a discussion of a variety of different options uh, to help the Cuban people, including trying to find a way. And I know that, you know, we're all here in Miami trying to find ways to help uh, companies here in, in the United States provide Internet service uh, to Cubans on the island, uh, you know, so that they can uh, communicate and so that we can continue to see the images that we're seeing from Cuba and that the international community can understand what's happening in Cuba, the repression, the violence, and the inability for Cubans to seek what we have here in this country, which is freedom and liberty, which is all that they're asking for, by the way. Are you calling for regime change in Cuba? <laughs> We've been calling for regime change for 62 years in Cuba, uh, from a communist dictatorship that is brutal uh, to a democracy that empowers the people of, of, of Cuba. Uh, I think Cubans are now calling for a, re, a, a regime change in a way that has never been seen before, um, in a way that puts their lives at risk. And they're doing it in mass in over 40 cities throughout Cuba. We've never seen anything like this, not in 1994, not in 1980. Um, it's, it's never happened like this. And finally, I think we, you know, the, the whole international community is seeing the level of desperation and the failure of the communist uh, government in Cuba and its uh, inability to protect and, and feed its people and, and give them the basics. As you know, Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, Homeland Security Secretary, made it clear telling people in Cuba not to try to come to the United States illegally by sea. The Republican senator uh, there in Florida, uh, one of them, Marco Rubio, uh, he took a step further saying he wants the Biden administration to tell the Cuban government if it triggers a mass migration, uh, we are going to consider it an act of war. Uh, what's your assessment of how the administration is handling the crisis so far? Look, I'd love to see uh, the president come to Miami. I think is an opportunity for him to lead. I think is an opportunity for him to, you know, to, to give a speech like what Reagan did when he, you know, when he went to the Berlin Wall and said, tear down the wall. Um, and, and ultimately, there was a peaceful transition in Berlin, uh, you know, from from West Germany. Uh, you know, to, 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 to a peaceful democracy in Germany. I think that there's an opportunity there for the president. I think uh, there's an opportunity to rally the international community, which frankly uh, has really not been involved in, in this issue. And I think that there's an opportunity to articulate why this is important for America. You know, Cuba is, is a, uh, was designated by the U.S. as a sponsor of terrorism. It's a, a narco trafficking uh, country that, that, that um, it traffics in drugs and is exporting communism, not just in Cuba, but throughout the hemisphere and throughout the world historically. So I think that there's an opportunity for the president to make the case that this is in the strategic importance of the United States, and it should matter to people throughout the country.
Should the embargo ban be lifted? You know, I, you know, it's interesting. That's been something that's been said over and over again. And I'll tell you, you know, when you see the images and you hear the people in Cuba, they're not going out there and condemning the United States. They're not going out there and saying lift the embargo. What they're saying is we want freedom. We want liberty. Uh, you know, and, and the slogan is patria y vida, which is a country and, and life. They want hope. They want a better future. Uh, and they understand that it's not the United States' fault. It's very easy to demonize the United States. Uh, you know, Cuba can trade with any country in the world that it wants to um, and, and, and has an unsuccessful uh, totalitarian uh, communist regime that has completely failed its citizens. It has nothing to do with the U.S. embargo. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez, I've enjoyed our conversation and do hope you'll come back. Thank you.